So you've been working out consistently and you're dealing with a lot of soreness and you don't know how to combat this soreness and you're just looking for ways to recover faster. Well, look no further because in this video I'll be sharing some of the ways that I recover and just different ways that can help you combat this soreness and will just allow you to work out more efficiently. So if this is something that you're interested in, then continue to watch. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Cindy. On this channel, I produce videos with fitness, with food and health and just family vlogs. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing because I produce weekly content and I have a lot of good videos coming up so you don't want to miss out. So for those of you who do not know, I am a professional track and field athlete and my job primarily is working out. And so something I deal with a lot is soreness, muscle fatigue. So in this video, I want to share some ways that help me recover really quickly and allow my workouts to go a lot better the next day when my muscles are tired and sore and just want to give up. And I want to share some of the ways that really helped me in this video because I think it can be very helpful for all of you as well as showing you some of these ways and hopefully these ways can help you out a lot and if you are on a fitness journey right now I recommend that you follow me on my Instagram so that you can see more motivation and some more tips that I have on there to help you live a more nutritious and healthy lifestyle so my first tip for dealing with muscle soreness and just recovery is just get more sleep so I try to get so much rest as an athlete and it really really helps when you're not getting enough sleep, you are going to feel sore. It's going to be inevitable. Your body's not going to have that recovery time it needs to really fuel your muscles the way they need to be fueled. So I try to get at least eight to nine hours, and I know that that's not always easy for everybody. But one thing I recommend for you is just try to go to sleep 30 minutes earlier. Make sure you get into bed at least 30 minutes earlier or set your alarm clock up 30 minutes and just get more rest. I promise you that makes a huge difference because without that rest, your body cannot recover the way it needs to and so that makes a really really big difference my next tip for you is to stretch more often so typically I will stretch about two to three times a day and that really helps just release that muscle tension that muscle tightness in my body and it just makes my muscles more flexible so I had a video where I did some stretches and I'll attach that up here for you guys but you guys can go watch some of those stretches that I do before I work out but try to do those stretches at night in the mornings try to be more consistent with those stretching just get yourself a stretch rope and Focus on stretching your body because if you're sore, relaxing those muscles by creating more flexibility and just releasing that muscle tension really is helpful to covering a lot quicker and really getting your body to where it needs to be. My next tip is to use a massage gun or a foam roller. I recently got a massage gun that I really, really love and I will attach it down in the description if you're interested and I have a code that you guys can use so just give you 20% off your purchase. But it is a massage gun that I will use around my body and just my legs, my hamstrings, my back and that is super, super helpful. So if you guys have a massage gun of some sort, it reduces inflammation, it helps relax your muscle and it breaks up scar tissue and adhesion that comes from working out so much. So use that and that can really help. If you don't wanna use a massage gun, then I recommend a foam roller because foam rolling is also as helpful as well. So get yourself a foam roller. I like to use this as well after my workouts, before my workouts, and that really helps just kind of release that tension in your muscles. And that can be super helpful as well. My next tip is a tip that I personally don't love the most, but I find to be probably one of the most helpful, and that is icing. So I take ice baths a few times a week after my workouts, and as much as I hate them, they help me out tremendously. I can definitely tell a huge improvement the following day I practiced when I had iced. And so I sit in the ice bath for about 10 minutes and I like to get everything, my, all my legs, my hamstrings, my calves, all that. It really just helps soreness and cramping and all that stuff. However, if you don't want to sit in ice bath like myself, because people find this to be quite crazy, then I recommend just getting a bag of ice and putting it on a portion of the body that is really sore, really struggling, because that makes a huge difference. It just really helps you out with that soreness, and I promise you that it will make a huge difference if you just spend about 15 minutes icing that specific part of your body. Just doing it consistently each day will help you recover quickly and help you get back to the working out you know you're capable of doing. In contrast to icing, heating can also help you as well. So heating up your muscles before working out can really help you know get your muscles primed and ready to work out and so something I do is I'll either shower before I work out or I'll use a heating pad sometimes if I'm feeling tension or soreness in an area and that also helps um, at the right time now you don't want to always heat because 
there's different purposes for different times. But if you're getting ready for a workout and you're still feeling some type of soreness, then heating and relaxing and increasing that circulation will definitely help you get ready and perform the way that you are capable of performing. Another thing that I like to use as an athlete are the Normatec boots. I use this innovative technology that uses air pressure to compress the muscles and it gets me ready to feel better. It really helps me feel better and it helps my muscles feel great. It all, like the compression relaxes the muscles in a way that gets the blood flowing and makes your body get the blood and circulation that it needs. I'll put the link down below and you guys can look at the Normatec boots, but if you don't wanna invest in a pair of Normatec boots, then I also recommend just using compression socks of some sort. So I'm sure some of you guys know that when you go on planes, your legs swell up and they get sore and people like to use the compression socks to help them, their muscles and that swelling. So sometimes if you're sore, using those compression socks will do the same exact thing and those will really help for your calves um, or your legs and just getting that circulation that you need because that also helps you a lot with your muscle soreness. Lastly, I recommend that you guys are focusing on your hydration. I don't know about you, but when I'm dehydrated, my body feels very stiff. My muscles don't feel very flexible. I just don't feel great. So when you're focusing on your hydration and noticing the amount of water you're drinking, that can make a huge difference as well. So if you are not drinking a lot of water right now, definitely up that a little bit. I like to carry around um, a liter bottle. I show you guys in some of my videos. I like to fill, up, fill it up and drink it and then continuously do that throughout the day so that I'm focusing on my hydration. And when I'm at practice, that helps as well. I also like to drink electrolytes that helps fuel the body the way it needs to be fueled with more electrolytes. And so sometimes I will go back and forth between the water and the electrolytes. So if you have some type of electrolyte powder, some Pedialyte, some type of, sometimes you might need Gatorade, it has a little bit of sugar, so I don't use Gatorade personally, but some type of electrolytes also will help you with that hydration and it will just get your body super ready, super primed and ready to go. I think that can make a huge, huge difference for everything that you need. So I hope this video can help you guys with recovering quickly. I know that being sore, it does not allow you to stay motivated to work out. When I'm sore, I do not look forward to my next workout because I know that it just makes it that much harder. So use some of these strategies I gave you today and just implement them today in your workout regimen. Make sure you're focusing on nutrition as well. I didn't put that as a tip, but nutrition can make a huge difference as well. If you're eating properly, your body's just gonna naturally feel good. And yeah, I really hope that helped. Like I said earlier, go to my Instagram and I'll have some more recommendations and motivational things on there to inspire you to keep working out and to just keep on pushing through, especially during these hard times we're in right now because I know it's hard to stay motivated. So thanks you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the notifications bell down below so that you'll be alerted for when I post my next video. Also, comment down below which strategy you might be using right now that's really helpful for you or comment down below different tips that you may be using that's helping you recover. I need all the help I can get. I'm sure other people need that and just commenting helps everybody out. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.